so daybreak, we're starting the first game. Um, Thief versus Prop Dash, and Prop Dash can only use his mouth. Mouth. <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I can't say that right. Ah, this thing. This thing. He can only use that thing. Uh, actually, his own thing. So it's not. It doesn't have. Not, to come not literally. No, but we have. We yeah. have. We have his keyboard here. So it's okay. Uh, so whatever. Whatever. Mouse. Mouse. I'm. I'm good at this. Actually. I'm. I'm I can't be. Um, does mouse sports exist anymore? Um, yeah, it does. They do. Yeah, yeah of course they do. I, I could not team. become a pro caster because I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't pr pronounce any of the gamer from mouse mouse sports. God damn it, this is going to be hard. Fair enough. So uh, I think we're uh, getting into the game. We have the callers uh, set up. We're asking the players if they're ready. When you're ready, Thief is ready, and uh, Prop Dash is. I'm guessing. Oh, <laughs> Prop Dash is ready. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a keyboard, so he, he, he of course write. he can't type that he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> he's signaling us, going idiots. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, so here we go. The countdown has begun. Yes. Even though we didn't get a, a written consent from Dash, <laughs> we don't we have the body man. language. We don't so care, man. No. Dash, you know you you, <laughs> you have to type GG when the game starts. Otherwise, you <laughs> oh, <laughs> automatically lose the game. How is he going to matter that? I don't I, if he has the unclickable on menus, he can't actually leave the game. No. <laughs> oh, that's true. If he has unclickable on menus, he can't leave the game. I, I guess we, we'll wing it if he loses. We'll wing it if he... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if he loses, we'll, we're going to wing this. He's going to... He'll he'll come over here and his grab it, grab, grab his keyboard. And we, we didn't actually force him to remove the keyboard. No, so we that, didn't. That was, so that was all him. That, that was, was all him. him. But again, I guess it's fair, right, for the people watching the stream. Yeah, they can see that this is for real. I mean, they can't see that he didn't pick up another keyboard, but you know, whatever. It, it's for real. He is. You, you're gonna you're gonna see it on his play. I promise you. He won't <laughs> yes. be able to split against Bainling. So no. if that is the. <laughs> no. Oh, that would be so epic. All right, so we're in our game, and uh, we're going to introduce our players, and I'm going to steal the honors. You can have the next one. Okay. And I'm going to start off with our Zerg player. Down here in the left corner, we have the silver player, Thief. Give it up for him. And in our top right corner, we have Prop Dash, only playing with a mouse. Give it up for that. And uh, we're going to see if, um, if the monsters will shine through. Uh, I mean, if, if this guy is really a silver player, as his league suggested, yeah, um, I think that that should should be able to win with mouse only. It's, I mean, that should be able to take this quite e quite easily. But, I think. Uh, I've, I've it, beaten. It's, I've it's hard in, in some in some certain situations. It's really hard to yeah. micro with only your mouse. I've, I've um, it is, and <laughs> we're seeing <laughs> APM averaging a hundred <laughs> for the Terran player right now. So. Uh, He's really busy, man, uh, warming up those that those fingers on one of the hands, if nothing else. Um, and I've actually I've actually beaten uh, bronze players mouse only, uh, but since I'm playing Protoss and I just did a regular four gate, which <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. That doesn't count. It it doesn't take any actual micro really. You, you just build a couple of units and then one a. Yeah. Basically, if, if you do it central, of course. The point is, the one A part is a bit hard. Yeah, it is. And I, the, you, you have to you have to box and then like. Yeah. So all right, uh, down to the game, shall we? Um, we're having a gas, gas, gas first. Uh, so I'm guessing we're going to see some. Oh, he, he might what? be doing some funky, like really early speed, and then a baning bust. Yeah, of some that, sorts. That is a possibility, and that would be kind of cool against a player that. <laughs> only can use the mouse because <laughs> that would be a even lot if of fun. even if you know it's coming, it yeah. you have to perform some actions. You so. have to do something about yeah. it. Yeah, it can be hard. Yeah, it just ha he'll just have to build a lot of bunkers, I guess. He That's can he can actually he can actually hop, hop between the bunkers. Uh, that could be, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just throwing words out there. <laughs> he probably can't now. Uh, <laughs> So we see he has soon the hundred gas. So if he's yep. going for the speed, he should be starting it should right, be right now. No, um, nothing yet. No, no gas yet. The SV is in position. Oh, there, we there we go. go. And he scouted. He should see that animation yes. of the spawning pool. Something's happening with the, the spawning pool. Small waves. Yep. There's not much that can be happening with the spawning pool, so he should be able to figure that out. So he knows that something's coming up here, and he's actually building an early command center. Oh. 
and the Baneling Nest comes down. And um, <laughs> actually, wasn't this quite expected? Wouldn't wouldn't Prop Dash feel that? Yes, of course. If there's a lower league player playing yeah. against him, Espe especially when he scouted what was going on, if yeah. he had if he had the, the like the presence of mind to click the gas geyser, yeah. see that he actually mined 100 already. Yeah. He should know that this is coming. He but should uh, very much know that this is coming. Might, he might just be comfortable enough to to hold this even on the low ground. Is it, or is it the fact that I saw him drink actually drink a beer before this game? <laughs> it's one of those. I, I, uh, I, no comments. <laughs> <laughs> no comments. I've never seen uh, him, him play when, when he had been but drinking. So he's been drinking. No well, idea. Well, a beer up in there. They say that there's a you know there's a line of where you get a little bit better, and then it goes down very Might quickly. Might be true. So let's see, true. the servants are closing in there, and there we go, the first couple of banelings just outside the naturals. He, he really needs like, well, I would say at least seven of them to yes. really be uh, certain to kill those, uh, kill that bunker. And if it does, he might be able to do some real damage here. Yes. So Propdash, uh, yeah, our observer is pointing out that Propdash uh, saw those very much because he had the the, the tower, so he knows this is coming. And uh, all right, here he goes. Basically, what is he going to do with that bunker? He's going to just let it go. Guys, should have started serving in a bit earlier, but he will get this bunker. No problem yes, at all. No problem whatsoever. And he managed to pop out the uh, the marines before that, didn't he? So he handled that very well, and these two uh, Marines are being micro back, so they get support from the high ground, and uh, it's a hold. It is, and if he can get this bunker off bet uh, before the second round of Banelings comes in, yeah. he should be more than equipped to handle this, and I do believe that it will be done in time. There we go, the second round of Banelings, uh, about six of them. Yes, that is enough to, to blow up a supply depot, of course. Yeah, and he's got a nice split with his, uh, well, three Marines down the ramp. So. Uh, if he manages to, to hold some, uh, grab some uh, Baneling fire with those two. He's playing extremely well considering he only uses the mouse right yeah, now. Yeah, he's very, he's doing this very well. And I think this is going to be a bit hard. The question is, what do you hit with these things? Is it worth killing a half finished bunker? Um, no, but there's not, not much he can do with anything right now, though. No, he, he's really. floating around 700 minerals, so he should be thinking about getting an expand and maybe start to macro up a bit. I'm thinking he should get two. But. Well, yeah, that's true. He could, yeah. Uh, our observer is pointing out as well that he could uh, just have busted the uh, the barracks to get up with the supply to post, but he, he didn't have nearly enough. To I don't think he had nearly enough to do to that, to especially to, since to the actually kill the barracks. Full of but the Marines fully aware of the the number of Baneings that I can actually kill. And here we go, though. As you can see, he almost gets it. Almost gets it. The very Marines close. were in position in the bunker, and if he can repair it in time, should be <laughs> safe. No, even so, even if that. he gets into the main, there are two fully loaded bunkers and three racks it's just producing Marines. So exactly. But he manages to, to get you through, and uh, yes, that's the problem with all the uh, all the bunkers in there. And he manages at least harass the mineral line, but all these Marines coming, that those uh, Sergeants are going to be cleaned out very well. Yeah, says a GG. It. GG. Well that was played. a good enough try. Well played there. He threw everything he had at him. And uh, this is, I think, the problem we're playing against one of these players. You don't have the confidence to go into an expansion after this, do you? No. Uh, I mean, he, he put everything on one card. It was yeah. the all-in. It didn't it work. It was valiantly tried, but uh, not enough in the end. So. Not enough in the end. Perfect. So that was our first player down. And so far, we have an undefeated Masters playing here.